Hi, I'm Midge from Fast Car, and this is how you fit a set of aftermarket seats. Now, fitting a set of seats is one of the all time great DIY jobs. Now, you can do this at home, it's quite easy. First thing I always say is disconnect the battery first. Now, why'd you do this? You don't want the airbags going off in your face. Apart from that, it's just a case of unbolting the four bolts or the sliders, taking them out, bolting in the new one. Now there's a couple of things you want to remember when you're ordering your seats. One, make sure they fit. And two, make sure you order the subframes. Now I'm hoping Jules has ordered ours. Jules? Yeah? Did you order the subframes as well, well as the seats? These ones. Oh, absolute legend. Mate, have been doing this long enough? Let's get on with it. Right, the idea of disconnecting the battery is to stop the airbags going off in your face. And most of all, you don't really want the airbag light coming on either. So we disconnect it, and ideally disconnect it like the day before or the night before and leave it for a few hours at least. And this will help the charge, any residual charge in the system dissipate. Safety first. So Midge. Yep. You've got four bolts. You normally have two at the back and two at the front. That's right, unless it's a Volkswagen. Um, some of them have sliding things that you've got to take out with one bolt at the front. But... Yeah, this, is, this is a Honda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm well aware, thank you very much. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> now, once you've got the seats out, you need to get to the plugs underneath. Now, what you do is disconnect those because that will disconnect the airbags or the electric seats or, or whatever you got before you can take the seat out of the car. This is they, just, to, they just pop out. This is meant to be the easy bit. Top tip. Once you've got your seat out, give it all a nice little hoover, get to all the stuff you can't get to normally. Right, so, moment of truth. See if I ordered the right ones. And by the looks of it, we're good to go. Obviously, getting the correct subframes in the first place saves a mountain of time, so make sure you do your research. Now, the idea of having subframes is, obviously, seats are kind of universal. The car mounting points won't be, so it's, it's basically like an adapter plate, a bit like your head unit, so you can fit any set of seats in any different car. Now the reason it's important to go into the factory mounting points is because they're reinforced. Now that's the reason why you can't just drill holes in the floor and stick a seat in. They're all reinforced, so in the event of an accident, it's solid. So next thing, if you're doing this job at home, what you're gonna need is a resistor kit. And what this does is plug into the airbag loom and tricks the car into thinking there's still an airbag there. And that way it won't throw up your airbag light on the dash. Now, we haven't got one of those, but we're just gonna code out the um, airbag light later. So it doesn't matter to us. But if you're doing it at home, get yourself a resistor kit. So we fitted the sliders to the seat and then the seat to the sliders. And now we're gonna put it in. Right, they're in and all lined up, and now it's just time to bolt, get the bolts in and tighten them down. It's important to put the bolts in by hand first so you don't end up cross-threading into the floor. And yeah, should be there. And then we can get on with the other side.